Hello, my name's Carl. My call sign is Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango, and this is just a quick video to talk about FT8 and how and how I I tend to use FT8 not only as a a, a mode for working other operators, but also as a a mode that uses a reference tool. How I use FT8 in in, in many ways as a replacement for Whisper and um, those sort of tools that you can use. So the reason why I wanted to put a short video together about FT8 was um, a, a chap put a, a tweet out on Twitter, which is where they tend to go, um, just having a bit of fun with people who use FT8. And it's an ongoing joke. I mean, it's been going around a, a, a while now. I'll put a copy of the tweet up. I'll uh, remove his um, real name and I'll give him a, a pseudonym so I'm not embarrassing the chap. But, um, you know, it's one of those jokes around um, uh, somehow being a DX who is very exciting and very sexy to women. Uh, I can guarantee that it's not. Um, but then the FT8 is some sort of uh, marital letdown and it's not. It's, 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 it's as equal as being a DX. -er. Um, but this idea that, that FT8 is, that's all it is, is just a um, a, a cheats way of, of uh, doing DX and it's much more than that. So I just wanted just to go through some examples of how I'm using FT8 and um, hopefully that might, it might help others to go, oh yeah, that's a good idea. So over the past couple of or so years I've been using Whisper a lot and I've been using the Whisper Whisper Lite device as well as running the radio on Whisper and um, since I got the full license it means I can actually run the Whisper um, continuously for once. I can just let, let, let it run as long as I've got um, decent control over it. Um, but what I what I have found, and I've, I, on previous videos I've mentioned this, um, I've, I've tried. To, Wisp is pretty good on you know, 40, 80, 160, um, but you don't tend to hear that much of it on the uh, high bands. Um, there's not as many stations. You know whether people run Whisper at all on the high bands. I'm not. I'm not really that sure. But what I have found is actually FT8 has been a mode that I've replaced Whisper in many ways. <clears throat> so with Whisper, I've been using that as a way of trying to gauge what my antenna is hearing so the signal to noise ratio is a a, a good measuring tool or a decent measuring tool um to find out what your antenna is listening what you're hearing and then when you also then uh, put out um ft8 you can also um jump onto the a couple of websites and I'll put some links together to, to see what people are hearing as well whether you actually get any responses to your CQ calls you can then at least get an idea of um, your radiation pattern so this has been really useful so I've been trying some of this on the 70 meter dipole I've got on the on the rotator and I've just been playing around with this idea of if I've got some stations coming in on let's say minus 18 decibels if I if I move the antenna 90 degrees so I'm putting my null side of the antenna against the uh, <clears throat> against the the signal you know what do I get does it drop down any and the answer to that is I think it does <laughs> you know I've, I've been measuring some at some stations and flicking the antenna around and getting some new measurements um, it's not scientific because propagation changes a whole number of other reasons could affect the uh, signal strength but from that point of view it's it's a fun thing I've been trying to do this past week seems though I'm in solitary confinement so um, also changing the an antenna type switching antennas um, keeping the FT8 running switching between let's say a, a quarter wave on 40 meters and switching over to a coil an antenna on a coil or even to a, a mic loop and being able to switch between the different antennas FT8 pr proved pretty decent um, quick fire way of, of uh, looking at if it, if it makes a difference especially if you've got certain stations that are they're all like you know they're like a machine like a robot uh, they 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 putting out con continuously putting out CQ calls and uh, sometimes you can use them as a reference as long as what you're doing is really quick so I found that quite useful 
and and ft8 is also a very good tool um to listen to see if a band's opening such as six meters or ten meters just tune into the um to the ft8 section and just leave that running and when you hear ft8 coming in and it coming in, coming in quite strong see where see where it's coming in from and then have a flick around the the voice uh, part of the of the band so, so ft8 isn't just a replacement for uh, doing radio it's not a cheats radio it's actually a pretty decent tool so please drop in some comments on how you how you use ft8 and some of the different types of software that you use i think it's really good to um to just broaden people's horizons around the the, the mode uh, stay safe take care catch you on the next videos bye bye for now